Off to the west here, you see this cluster of clouds and showers and storms. The atmosphere is trying to set up out here such that maybe some of these storms develop into a little bit of a line for this afternoon and try to march eastward with this decaying cold front. Now, I say decaying, the energy is kind of going away, but the fact that we have the sun out there is helping to percolate our atmosphere. And so it's conceivable that some of these showers and storms try to work into our northwestern suburbs, especially north of the pike and outside of 495 this afternoon. I'm not expecting a whole lot of severe weather, but one or two of the thunderstorms may put down a gust or two of wind. Uh, just, just keep an eye on that this afternoon. High temps today, 90 or better in many areas from Bill Ricca down through Wellesley and Norwood. We'll zoom out again and I'll show you the temperatures even up near 90 for Orange and Keene. If you're looking for cooler weather, you folks on the Cape are enjoying that today. They are 80 degrees this afternoon, about 81 in Hyannis, 70 on the Vineyard, and that's because winds will be coming up from the south off the cooler waters, relatively speaking, of course. So let's check out future cast. We'll increase the clouds a little bit as we step into the afternoon hours today, and then watch as a couple of these showers and storms try to work toward the Connecticut River Valley north and west of Worcester come through and then they fizzle by about nine o'clock tonight. Not expecting a whole lot of weather from these, but again, if you happen to end up underneath one of them, some gusty winds and some uh, heavy downpours are a possibility stepping on through the day. Let's talk temperatures, right? Because there's outside near 90 degrees and then there's inside your car with the doors closed and the windows closed, and that can quickly cause the temperature inside your car to get up to 109 degrees, 124 degrees after 30 minutes. I say this just as a word of caution, those of you with animals, pets, children, just mind that. We're gonna be up near 90 for the next couple of days. Humidity, you know, high, but not like it was last weekend. Heat indices probably in the middle and upper 90s, perhaps by Tuesday, and cooling showers move in to dry us out as we head toward Friday.